Right, guys, we are back. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with Grandad. Uh, you guys seem to like him in the last video, the Douglas Louise video. So we are back again talking about Aston Villa. Uh, it seems a bit as if the football scene is all based around England and everything at the minute with the Euros going on. But we are talking about Villa, the transfer news. There's, there's, there's been quite a few. There's been nothing confirmed yet. But Grandad, how have we been? All right, all right. Better than you, though. You're in trouble, aren't you? Oh, really? For what? Well, have you not seen that? Like, there's Dougie off to um, Juve, yeah, and he's saying, whoa, that girl's got to come. Can can you just visualise the conversation? Hey, darling, uh, we are going to Italy, pack your bags. Well, are we, why are we doing that then? How long are we going for? Oh, no, no, we're going long time. Good long time. <laughs> why are we going to Italy long time? I saw that boy. I saw that boy. He look at you. He look at you. I see you look at him. He hot. No, you hot. No, 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 no. You pack your bag. We are to go to Italy. We will talk about Douglas Luiz soon, but today, guys, we're talking about four or five, six players that could be moving in and out of Aston Villa. Today, the players, the news we're talking about is the main man, Tim Im Irigurum. Irigurum. I still haven't cracked his name. I'm just going to keep calling Tim. him Tim for now. We're going to call him Tim. That's going to be his name. We've got Matty Cash. We're going to be talking about John Duran, Douglas Luiz, Onana and Tammy Abraham. That is going to be in this video, guys. If you guys do go on to enjoy, smash a like. Comment what you think in the comments below. Let's just get into it, hey? Want to just say oh. a few words about Diego? Yeah. Yes, he is also on my list. Today, I was at work. I was working and I get a notification on my phone that Tim is going to Everton. Apparently, reportedly, about £10 million. Tim is going to be heading off to uh, Merseyside. Weird one, this. He's one of them players that I think has been for a few managers, he's came for our academy right? he's been with us for a very long time Mr Tim, and he did have a stage under Steven Gerrard I believe, where he actually kind of started to play a few games and he had a bit of a role with Villa and it just kind of has faded out hasn't it to be honest I think with Tim. And I think you're right, I think he, he came in for a few games towards the end of the season as well didn't he? And he looks yeah. okay, he looks okay but he looks a little bit lightweight. And I think the pressure that was on at the end of last season and you looked at the squad and you look at who we can bring in, you know, for the players who are injured, the players who are tired, the suspensions. And yeah. he, he's kind of OK, but he's lightweight compared to what we need. And I think Tim's a good, good, good lad. Maybe get a buyback clause, I don't know, like they've done before. Well, you know? I think Tim, he comes across as a little bit of a quiet player. I don't know what he's like in the dressing room, but he seems like he gets the ball down. He's quite calm. He'll pass it around nicely. But in general, I think he's just kind of missing that spark that you kind of need that Unai Emery wants. And for 10 million, that's all right. I think that's an OK transfer. I'm not going to be good that he's leaving. It's, it's nice to see when players come through an academy. But in general, we've got a lot of better players than him. And he didn't, hasn't really featured under Unai Emery, I don't think, Tim has. It's 10 yeah. million towards the financial fair play. And it's just... We're just in that position, so may, 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 maybe it was inevitable. On to the next one then, so we're not too bothered if Tim goes to Everton. But Matty Cash, we're just talking about Matty Cash, a player who's had some really, really high highs at Villa. I think he's been one of them players where he's very likeable, the fans love him. He's been with Villa for, what, five years maybe now? But I don't know, it just seems like Unai Emery doesn't really like him. Which is weird because he, he, like you say, he kind of pushed up to that right-hand side, that right midfield, all the way throughout his career with us, to be honest. And he, he is good, but like, like you say, there's just, we can't seem to get that next level with Matty Cash. Unai Emery's took Luis to the next level, Kamara, Pau Torres, but I think Matty Cash just has stayed the same for the last two, three years, to be honest with you. His defence, mate, he's done really well. I think we've had our money's worth out of him. He's played well. As, as you say, I think the fans like him. I get the impression the players, dressing room like him, but he's five years older. He's five years older at the time that we need more energy, um, better uh, uh, forward play and better outcome from, from the game. He's been great. He scored that goal, as I say, in Lille. We were going nowhere, were we? Six minutes to go, four minutes to go. He, if you don't shoot, you don't score, right? And he did it, and, and fair play to him. He's been linked with AC Milan. If he's starting there every week, it's Champions League football for him. £30 million to Villa is it's probably what Matty Cash is worth, maybe 35 at a push. But in general, if Matty Cash does go this summer, 
I, I'm a little bit gutted because we do like him. He's been at Villa for a long time. But I don't think he's quite the level that Emery needs, the Champions League level that we want. And it's one of them, isn't it? Nothing. 30 million is a lot of money. And do you really yeah. think that he's Champions League quality now? Really? Good luck to him. And, and thank you for the money. Next one, we're just going to speak briefly on because we spoke about him uh, a, a lot in the uh, the last video, the Double Sweets video. John Duran, 50 million. I thought this was kind of like a guarantee, but this seems to be kind of falling through a little bit just because I think Villa basically said the only way we're going to give John Duran to Chelsea is if we get Conor Gallagher. And I'm still not 100% that we're going to get Conor Gallagher. I don't think Chelsea are either. But if we sell Duran for 50 million, we're all happy, right? 50 million you buy at the hand off. I read yeah. somewhere yesterday, I think, Chelsea only really want to give 25, 30. That scored goal, been exciting. I said that. I like the fact he shakes, shakes up defences. He's not worth 50 million. They're going to pay. Thank you very much. I'd be amazed if we got more than 30. John Duran, go. If you want to see more about John Duran, go on last week's video. We spoke a lot about it. The thing we just spoke about, Douglas Louise. I was, again, not going to say too much about him, but. I kind of thought the deal would be done by now. We recorded um, six days ago the Douglas Louise video and I thought it'd be confirmed within then. However, the only real change is that Douglas Louise might be going to Juventus with his girlfriend, Alicia Lehman. is mental. It's kind of shook the internet up. But that's the thing. There's a couple transfer, which is just crazy and stupid and ridiculous, and but also quite fun. Shame to see him go. Yeah, I've got mixed feelings on him, uh, as you know. But I like Louise. I think he's a good player on his day. I think he's great. He's a little bit inconsistent. But when you've got him, you've got him. Moving on. Yeah. The players in now, a couple of players that we're going to talk about a bit more is talking. We talked about him earlier. Onana from Everton. I haven't really seen this guy play too much. However, the way Everton talk about him, he's got to be one of the star men. Arsenal are linked with him heavily. It's us and Arsenal that seem to be leading the race. However, the guy is... On the plane right now for Belgium, he played in yesterday's game. He's got a couple goals for Everton. I think he scored seven or eight last season. He's a midfield maestro and engine. And I think if we can sign Onana, I think that'll be a fantastic sign. It seems like he's a very all-rounded, decent player that, if we get rid of Douglas Louise, could be a good replacement, in my opinion. thing is, though, do you see Onana and Gallagher? Is it one or the other? Or do you see yeah. both and Ramsey goes? There's a lot going on there in mid, mid, midfield. I'm in favour of him. I think he's good. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But, you know, you've got to be careful. There's other positions we need to fill. Because if cash goes, how much cover have we got to right back? Yeah? Yeah. You know, Dean apparently is on the list to go. Marino apparently is on the list to go. Neither want to leave. So who's coming Crazy. in there then? I'll be happy with Onana. He obviously hasn't got the Champions League experience, but he seems like an aggressive player that will fight for your badge. And I think that is exactly what Emery wants. And he played all right yesterday for Belgium. And I would I would take him here at Aston Villa, personally. But the one that 99% of Villa fans would take, the main man that might potentially be coming to Villa, we don't know. The man that's been linked with Villa for about four years since the championship days is, who is it? It's Tammy Abraham. Grandad, how good was Tammy Abraham in the championship? In the championship? How good has he been for Roma? That's the question. He's been, he's injured. He's been injured, but how, how, how well can he get back to where he was? Look at what happened with uh, Wesley. Never got back up to where he was, was he? Just those kind of really bad knee and, and ligament injuries that, that, that these players get. They very rarely get back. We've still got Ben Deer to come back. We don't know how well he'll play after those injuries. It, it's a recurring thread for a lot of players. I think Villa are going to be really cautious. You know what? The heart strings say, we love Tammy. Of course we do. Yeah, of course yeah. we do. Yeah. But again, we've not been sentimental. We're in, we're in the Champions League. And we're there to win, to play well, earn money, win something. And £40 million pounds is the thing I've been seeing. It's quite a lot of money. Will he start is a question as well. Is he good enough? I'm not sure. However, if you're going to have one player in his prime that you just Villa fans love, it's got to be Jack Grealish, number one, and Tammy Abraham, 
number two. I don't know, maybe it's a bit of nostalgia taking over, but if I could see Tam Abraham in a Villa shirt, because we were going to sign him, it wasn't for Chelsea's transfer ban when we got promoted, he would, would have been a Villa player. However, they got the transfer ban, he never came back, he had a good season with Chelsea, and his career's not really taken off as much as he wanted since. Hold so, on, hold on, hold on. He had such a good season, they sold him. <laughs> yeah. Think about that. I don't that. know. In my mind, if you said to me today, you could have Tommy Abrahams or keep the run, it wouldn't be an easy answer for me. Okay. You know, I think because you've got one who's up and coming and one who's been there, but he's having problems and you don't know. Diego, Diego, I, I, I just don't understand why people don't like Diego. He's, I don't think they've watched him defend. Yeah, I know he can be a bit sloppy and I know... You know, he wasn't very good at the back towards the end of the season. But who was? Okay. Torres wasn't. Dean wasn't. How many goals did we let into Olympiacos? You know, <laughs> six goals in two games. None of them have got anything to shout about. But Diego, the way he muscles players out, the way he gets that ball, the desperate, you know, goal line clearances. For me, he's not someone we should be selling in this window. I really don't see it. I think Carlos... People have been saying though is that is the F the FFP role is we, we we didn't exactly do it properly under Carlos buying him in. I don't really know. I don't really know how it works. But no, I, I I do think Carlos and Torres is the way to go. I'd rather have them two than Conza and Mings. So yeah. Well, uh, isn't that an interesting one? Mings. Just in closing, Mings. Yeah. Is he ever gonna come back? Is he is this the time to sell him? He's back to fitness, he's training, maybe take take the money now for him before you find out whether he's, he's well fit or, or not. Well, that is the transfer news with, you know, the best journalists, the best Villa content creators around, me and Grandad. There we go. Hope you guys have been updated. Hold on, hold on. There's, someone at, there's someone at the door. So, he, where does ABFC Logger live? I don't know, what's your name? What's that, Louise? Something, Louise? Oh, David. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll see you later. Sorry, hey, sorry mate. Come on. <laughs> right, there we go. Like, subscribe if you guys enjoy because these videos don't get as many views, so we need you guys to like it, to push it all up. See you guys soon. Um, up the England for the next couple of days. That's why I'm wearing the white. Yeah. Clearly. See you, you soon. What do we think about Scotland? Win, lose, draw? What do we care? No one cares, bro. No one cares. I want to win. I want to win. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> My, That's my, definitely a different my, topic for another day. My son-in-law is Scottish. I want Scotland to win so he has great hopes and then they get knocked out. <laughs> right. it, okay, well, I'll see you guys soon. Up the villa. And there we see go. you guys, up the villa.